And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. Let's get you updated on what happened in Botano. Somehow, the Lady Tetons are 11 and 0. What a wild one tonight. They beat Botano 81 to 78. They improved to 11 and 0. Taylor Moffat, the transfer from Albany, led the comeback, scoring 26 points. All the points in the second half, many from the three throw line. There's your veteran experience. Emmy Harris had 24, most in the first half, to keep him in it. Kansas, his bad horse, and Allison Coonsey both filed out with about seven and five minutes to go. Officiating very, very one sided, to say the least, but the Tetons pulled it out 81 to 78. Amari Butler led. Uh, the home team with 26 points, but the Tetons pull it out. My goodness, 81-78. The men blew a 10-point lead. They fell to the Lumberjacks, 100-87. Aussie Brennan Redhead, I remember him from last year. He had 49 points, almost 50, so he put 49 against the Tetons. Rex Sterling, another good outing, 30 points, 10 rebounds, having a great freshman year, as is his mate, Tyler Best with 19. So yesterday they got beat by Science, couldn't score at all in the second half, and they blew a big lead tonight. So hang in there, Tetons. Wrestling, Guy Melby puts together the Sydney Invitational. Sydney does a great job. So post falls of Idaho wins it, then Laurel, Montana, then Colorado. Dickinson was fourth. Lake Stevens, Washington was fifth. There's the Eagles, sixth. They want that state title again. Williston, eighth. They want another WDA title again. Sydney's Reese Graves had the title at 145, of course, a state champ. He went 4 0. Big Ty Wiedrich of the Coyotes, 205. He also was a champ. He went 4 0. So a good test for the rest of the year. After their wild win over the Cats on Saturday, the Bison now turned their attention to South Dakota a club that beat them earlier in the year, 24-19. We weren't very good when we showed up that first half against them. What was it, 21-3? to um, we, we can't let a, let a team get up like that, especially a good team that's going to, you know, get into some short yardage situations. We struggled to get off the field. We got we to gotta, we gotta be better on third down. We got to be better defensively, and uh, we got to be able to score points when we get in the red zone. Uh, field goals will, just aren't enough uh, these days. Uh, field goals will get you beat. And, and they did. All right, he's absolutely right. The Bison game once again will take place on Saturday in South Dakota. 1.30 p.m. kickoff on ABC. Once again, 1.30 kickoff on ABC. Meanwhile, Saturday night, the Grizz came up with a big win over Delaware. 49-19. You bet the head coach was pleased. I would say congratulations to Coach Cardi in Delaware. They have a, you know, have a really tough football team that was a hard-fought game they they competed uh the whole game and uh you know they're a veteran football team and it's a it was a privilege to have the chance to beat them so uh we're excited about that um thought it was a good effort by our guys we came out and after the you know we had the turnover on the second play but after that you know we kind of we kind of knuckled down got after it got a stop on defense and then you know, did some did some good things, blocking the punt. That kind of really got us going. I think was the block punt, and then it was uh, it was pretty fast and furious there. So it was, it was a nice job by our guys. I, I think the <clears throat> elements are a bit of a struggle for us with our style of play, the type of player we have on our team. All right, Friday, 7 p.m. on ESPN2. My goodness, what a big win for them. Let's take a timeout. 